once again, anyone and everyone, don't mind that. <laughs> Every recording is probably going to start with that because I don't feel like rebinding keys. Ah, uh, yeah. We're moving on. More Shadow Run Hong Kong. Because it's friggin' good. Another pa gate panel. I almost said Pate Ganel. This one's been vandalized and busted up good. A real nightmare of a repair job. Wu stares at the fence, considering. Loops and whirls of razor glitter in the lamplight. Looks edged with monofilament. The corporations here don't screw around. Duncan and I have hopped plenty of fences before. It'll be fine. Why don't we just cut ourselves an opening? She shakes her head. Even if you could, it'd snap back at you, or on you. Even seen the high tension wire whip through ever seen. Oh, you don't want to. <laughs> Duncan nods in agreement. We aren't touching it. How about it, Carter? Think you can get the gate open? She winks at him. What do you think? She eyeballs the job. It'll take me a few minutes, though. Frowning, she leans in to get a closer look at the mangled fuse box. A few seconds later, she starts pulling wires and yanking fuses. A look of intense concentration on her face. I thought she was a mage. In Cantonese, Jimmy. He sounds like Raymond when he does that. In Cantonese, I thought she was a mage. She is. Carter likes to know how things work. She used to be on the bomb squad. He continues in Cantonese. We speak only Cantonese from now on. Just like we did when we lived with Raymond. Those endless drills are about to pay off. Uh, it's Ray's mother tongue from here on out. He nods once, satisfied, then turns his back and scans the horizon. At least you can still handle yourself in a fight. I almost just kind of stood there and let them shoot me, but sure. So you're Lone Star now, huh? He backs, his back still to you. That's right. Aren't you wondering what I've been up to for these last eight years? Nope. <laughs> the silence between you gets louder, heavier. Then it's broken by a sudden wailing screech. Wu's hand goes to his holster. The screech is replaced by a sound of grinding wheels. Glancing over to the console, you see Carter grinning back at you. Got it. Why does Carter know fluent Cantonese, then? Oh, I love friggin' cyberpunk Asian cities. Ugh! Fucking amazing. Uh, the light from the nearby vendor's stall stabs into your eyes, triggering a throbbing ache in the back of your skull. You stop short, squinting, as rough voices drift in on the wind. Where's everyone else? Where's the damn shipment? I haven't seen him yet. We just got here. The voice becomes irritated. Long ways probably waiting for us, so we can haul it out of the boat for him, that lazy bastard. He's dead. Let's just hang out here. Let him find us. Looks like we're on a stroll through Smuggler Central. The gangers don't know we're here. We could probably just slip past. Why would we do that, though? Or we could clip them. They're already looking for us. Might be better to take them out now. While we've got the element of surprise on our side. Uh, ambush of enemies. While unaware hostiles are on screen, press the holster button to enter turn-based combat mode. Uh, holster. Yeah, because I want to fight him. Uh, oh. I want to hide behind here. And I want to take control. I want to hold. I want to control this guy. To go... Here. And then... Shoot this dumb butt in his stupid face. I want him over here. Oh, I love the music in this. So bad. 
well, it means so much. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It's great. How about I just put it that way? I want you here. I want you to blast this guy in the back. Oh, yeah. Aha, you missed, fucker. Oh, you didn't miss. Oh, uh, no, go to control mode. I don't want to do anything with her. I want to go to control mode. Oh, I just click him. Oh, well, I mean, buttholes and turntables. Uh. Ooh. I need... Oh, there's, like, no cover for him. So, okay, go here. And then... Go here. Uh, I'm good with her. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to friggin... Oh, god damn it. I was trying to click on the... What? What is with the screen drop? Or the frame drop? That's weird. Hey... They're gonna attack Jemmy now, aren't they? Because Jemmy's, like, somewhat out in the open. What the hell are you guys just friggin... Ow. Uh, I want you back here. Bam! <laughs> and another one. Bam! So stupid! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, listen to that. That's such a cool song. I'm gonna get over here and check and see what they're doing. Pick up! What is this? Basic med kit. Take. Thank you! And oh, this over here did something. What did it do? Who could ever say? Oh, that was it? Alright. That worked. Karma gain. Game saved. We're, oh. Yeah, it'd probably help if I scrolled around a little bit. Ooh, hello. What is this? Some nasty fish from the looks of it. Oh, no. I picked up Nguyen. I've never actually heard it said. I don't think. Nguyen? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, God. That guy does not look friendly in the slightest. Is there any way around him? Well, I mean, I have to talk to him. It's friggin' legit telling me, like, Nope, you have to. Go have fun. Crossing the street, you can make out a shit. Four shadowy figures loitering in the plaza ahead. I mean, that's one big shadow. Troll, orc, dwarf, elf, two men, two women. They're different... Wait. Oh, they are all different races. They're different from the smugglers on the dock. Alert. Poised. Professional. You can see they've made a token attempt to conceal their weapons. The unspoken message is clear. We're strapped, mind your manners. Wu stands up tall. That amused tone he gets whenever he's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone bigger. Someone who doesn't know they're about to go down. Evening, folks. You got permits for those bazookas? The thick troll pulls his mouth into a comic frown. Permits? Hmm, give me a minute. He makes a show of patting his pockets. Nope. Guess not. If, what the fuck is with his forehead? Like, he has crooked horns all over the place. Guess I must have... Or, m I must have dropped mine in a dumpster along with the last idiot who stepped to us. Wu coolly surveys... Coolly surveys the scene. Nods in a friendly fashion. Is that right? Well, then... You can almost feel Wu's cop training kick in. It's like watching a drone execute a com command and... Mm. Command routine. My brain just like... Pfft. He reaches for his rifle, brings it up quick, but it's too late. 
By the time it hit, hits shoulder level, an assortment of nasty-looking ordnance is already trained on his head. Carter backs him up. I was looking to see. She whips her arms forward, fists blazing with magical fire. Her eyes sweep the scene, darting from one figure to another. All right, everyone just be cool. Husky Troll. I love that that's his name. The thick troll's er, voice is casual, amused. He shakes the gun at Wu's face. A little late for that, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> Listen, guys. My stomach's doing somersaults. How about we all put our guns away before someone gets hurt? The thick troll snorts a lot. That guy looks like he could use an enema. <laughs> Something we can do for you, officer. Wu's jaw tightens, but his tone stays cool and controlled. I'm looking for an old man, Raymond Black. We were supposed to meet him here. You know him? The troll nods his enormous head. Mm-hmm. Wu's voice gets on edge. You can see a vein in his temple start to pulse. Where is he? Carter sees it too, keeps her voice neutral. Easy, Duncan. The troll maintains amused eye contact, but his weapon stays trained on Wu. That's right. Easy, Duncan. I almost went into Duncan's voice there. Oh, wow, frames. Why is my computer dropping to fit three, one frame, two? I don't know. Your friend Raymond never showed. We've been waiting for the better part of an hour. You were going to meet Raymond? Why is it my game running so poorly? Mm-hmm. So you were his tour guides, right? The troll's yellow-brown tusks shift into a smile again. Kinda, yeah. The old man hired us to take you all in on an excursion. Wu's brown furrows. Hired, hired you. Takes a moment, looks them over. They're an odd assortment. A cybered up troll, an orc girl with magical fetishes, a dwarf with a cybered uh, deck slung on his back, and a tall elf standing behind them quietly, inscrutable, all with guns trained on Wu. Understanding spreads across Wu's face. His jaw tightens. You're shadow runners. The troll nods. Mm-hmm. Wu's shoulders creep up his stance tightens this is bullshit Raymond would never hire shadow runners they're criminals uh, any time now yeah mercenary operatives shy dwarf criminal mercenary operatives so yeah oh hey I know that one so yeah, you were right. Your buddy Raymond was associating with a bunch of hardened criminals. The troll tosses Wu a sideways smile while staring down the barrel of his gun. Sorry to burst your bubble, Lone Star. Guess you didn't know the old man as well as you thought, huh? Wu tries to shake it off, but he's struggling to process the information. You can feel the heat coming off him. The runners sense it too. They tense up tight. They're keen on Duncan, and their guns are big. The looks on their faces make it clear. One wrong bead of sweat on Wu and Wu is going down in a red mist cloud. Carter remains silent still. Her voice is level, moderate. She's done this before. Let's all stay focused. No need to, for this to get ugly. She speaks quietly to Wu, who listens without turning. His focus squarely on the troll. We need to find Raymond. These are the people who can help us do that. What were you hired to do? Oh, now it's running at 60 FPS again. You can tell the orc girl's had enough of the tension. She blurts it out. The old man wanted us to take him to Kowloon Walled City. She waves a hand at the three of you. You too. Two large rats cling to her hip and shoulder. 
poke their heads out of the folds of her clothing. They fix their beady eyes on you intently. You know the walled city? This isn't Kowloon City? The girl sighs, rolls her eyes. Yeah, this is Kowloon. But Kowloon walled city is different. It's a shithole, the worst slum in the Eastern Hemisphere. Triad clips and new st uh, tr Oh, Trid Clips? Oh. Trid Clips and news stories can't do it justice. Memories of growing up in the Raymond Barons flash through your mind. Or Redmond Barons, whatever. We get it. It's a real bad place. Now why would a little old man pay you to take him there? The dwarf standing next to her nods and jumps in. Wouldn't say. He mentioned it too. Just kept rambling on and on about he had to get in. Under ordinary circumstances, I would I never would have accepted the gig. The walled city's the last place I want to go. But the old man rolled up a truckload of new, new yen. And you gotta eat, right? Wu risks a glance at you. His weapon remains trained on the shadow runners, but a flicker of uncertainty plays across his face. Interesting story. Seems like a good time to ramp down the threat of violence, don't you think? The troll flashes a smile that's all tusks and no warmth. Okay, gang. Tell you what. He looks at his team, then slowly starts to lower his weapon. We're all gonna put our guns down. There you go. Oh, God! Snipers, take cover! Holy shit! What the fuck? Well, there goes... Alright. The sound of high-caliber rifle shots hang in the air, and the red dots of laser sights sweep the area. Carter, the troll, and the silent elf lie dead in the winding pools of blood. Their heads broken open like melons dropped from a four-story building. Oh, Jesus. No, Carter. I like Carter. The orc girl screams from cover. Nightja! Nightja! Come big... Or, uh, come on! Big man, talk to me! Gunshot! No? No. She turns to the dwarf, her eyes wild with fear. Oh shit, Is This isn't good! Officer on megaphone. A voice blares out from the loudspeaker. I, this is the first time I've ever read their friggin' title. This is the police! Lay down your weapons! Put your hands behind your head and come up where we can see you! Duncan Wu! Jimmy Channel! Come out where we can see you! You have three seconds! Duncan crouches behind cover. His gaze locked on Carter's corpse. His voice comes out in a hoarse roar. Stand down, damn it! I'm law enforcement! Lone Star! Lone Star! He's driven deeper into cover by a hail of gunfire. The dwarf t shakes her head at him. Her voice is flat. Save your breath. They won't listen. Use your eyes. These bastards aren't here to make arrests. A sniper shot hits the wall next to her head, showering her in, in an explosion of plaster. Uh, we need to we'll way out of here now. Everyone pipe down. Just give me a minute. The rat girl stares at the ground intently, as if listening. Then her brow furrows. Her eyes go beady, and her nose wrinkles up. She begins to sway back and forth, her lips moving soundlessly. She snaps out of her trance. Okay, I've got a way out. It's at the end of the street. Everyone, come with me. Everyone, we don't need a rent a cops. Gobbit, <laughs> we're the only ones. The little orc whips her head towards her friend. Their extra firepower is. I got us an exit, <laughs> but we've got to get past the heat. I don't know what accent that is, by the way. And we can't shoot our way out of this on our own. If nothing else, they can soak up a few rounds for us. She turns to you, her pupils pinpricks of intensity. Just stick to cover and keep close. There's a door down the street that leads to a back alley. That's our exit point. You fall behind, you get left behind. 
All right. Get to the alley. Uh. Let me let me let me look around here. So don't go that way. That's for damn sure. So we go this way. No. Wait. Oh, we do have to go that way. We have to go through the police. Yeah. So it's me first, huh? All right. We're gonna go this way. Go to control mode. Oh wait. All right. Well. Uh. All right. He's gonna move up there. Gobbit is going to. Ooh, she can summon a spirit. So, but Gobbit is gonna go. trying to find her some halfway decent cover, but it looks like this is the best she's gonna get. Okay, she's gonna float over. That works. Is is gonna go over here. She's gonna take a pop shot at this guy. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, don't be a dick. Shit. Well, we're fucked. Yeah, suck a dick. Oh, come on, 83%? Oh, man. Bam, there we go. Bam. Uh, I want you to take... Wait, no. How do I skip her turn? I want you to summon a spirit. Now I want the spirit. Yeah! I want the spirit to soak up some bullets from this guy. Oh, god damn it. I don't want... This guy. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, you're bleeding. He's bleeding now. Cool. What are you doing? Come on, man. Now you're just being dumb. I'm just gonna have to run my robot into you until you die. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, frames. Why? Why? What is this game's issue with frame rates? I don't know what's going on with the frame rate here, so. Um, I want her over here. I want the spirit. Wow. Come on, what the... What the butt nugget? Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it here for a second. Thank you, anyone and everyone, for watching. I'll, uh, I don't know what's going on with the frames. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Love you.